now we are going to assemble fuel valve for uh, Daihatsu engine this fuel valve has been dismantled and uh, all the parts of this fuel valve has been cleaned with clean diesel oil you can see all the parts has been completely cleaned you can see the spring the washer the retaining nut and the nozzle holder push rod seat spring seat and the nozzle body this is the nozzle body so what we have to do is we have to completely clean the spare parts of the fuel oil nozzle and how to blow air compressed air so that any dirty particles which is inside the body will come out and it will be dirt free so now we'll see how to assemble the fuel injector so first you have to fit the body of the fuel valve in the vise so once we fit it in the vise then all we need to do is we have to start assembling the fuel valve so first thing is you take the spring seat and check properly and fit it inside the body so just check whether there is any scratches any foreign particles are there if it is not there just fit it so you, you have to fit it in this way and once the spring seat is in place then next we need to fix the spring this is the spring so just you have to inspect it the spring has been already inspected you have to inspect for any cracks or damages and next is the push rod this is the push rod that we need to fit it so fit the push rod in place and next we need to do is keep the double pin so this two double pin has to be placed properly in place and it should not be kept in the upside down position but uh, even though if we try to fit it in upside down position it don't fit because the position of the double pin slot is different from top and bottom so this is how you have to fix the double pin in place you can see here uh, you can see it is fitted exactly face to face so again one more time i will fix it so it happens that the pin may get stuck but that is not a problem so sometimes uh, you can make a marking also so that you don't miss the slot so i am trying to find a marking whether it is punched in the body or not yeah i can see a mark over the body so but most of the nozzles don't have this type of punch mark but here in this it have a punch mark and it have a mark on the double pin holder also but uh, anyway uh, it is very easy to fix the double pin in place just fix it directly to the slot and uh, fit it and that's all so once uh, that is fitted in place then next is you have to fix the nozzle fuel oil nozzle yeah so okay it is in place now so next is the nozzle so before fitting the nozzle in place uh, main thing that you need to keep it in mind is the nozzle and the nozzle should not be mixed that is the main thing that you need to keep it in mind so the main thing is when you fix the nozzle you have to check whether the needle valve is going smoothly without any external force just put take it out and drop it the needle valve should go inside by itself this is how you have to ensure the needle valve and the nozzle is working properly and main thing that you need to notice is you cannot mix a needle valve with a another nozzle because these uh, nozzle and needle valve are selectively combined so do not replace 
and this nozzle have a slot and the double pin should match so that's all now the nozzle is in place next we need to do is we have to give a coat of molly coat or copper slip whichever is available just give you a coat and you can fix the retaining nut give a slight coat next you can fix the retaining nut yeah you can see I'm fitting the retaining nut and uh, here you have to use the torque wrench for uh, tightening this retaining nut because if you tighten the retaining nut too much then it may affect the needle valve like it may get stuck so that is what uh, you have to be very careful when you are tightening the retaining nut okay anyway you can see there is a punch mark already made to ensure the matching of retaining nut and the body but you don't always trust this kind of punch mark you always trust your torque so that's all so that's all we are done with tightening the retaining nut with the help of torque wrench then now it is time to fix the adjusting screw so again uh, fix uh, the fuel valve upside down ensure uh, the nozzle is not uh, between the vise so again the adjusting screw should be given a coat of uh, molly coat and uh, you have to screw it inside so just try it out it is going perfect so we are going to give a coat of uh, anti seizure so yeah we are fixing the adjusting screw and uh, use the screwdriver and tighten the adjusting screw and then you can fix the lock nut and after fixing the lock nut you can use the cap nut to tighten it don't forget to fix the washer and now we are fixing the lock nut and we can do the lock nut tightening after doing the pressure testing so again uh, final tightening of uh, this will be done after doing pressure test one more washer and fix the cap nut in place so this is how we have to do the assembly of fuel valve for Daihatsu engine I believe this video must have given you some idea about how to do fuel valve assembly for Daihatsu engines thank you thank you a lot